So why should you get this 15.6 inch screen that works with she that should not be named? Let's dive into the Echo Show 15 on the next Mix of Tech. Hey guys, welcome to Mix Tech, where I review technology for the consumer prosumer and I give my take on the things I see. First, let me say I purchased this with my own money and plan to do a review based on my experience and why you should get the Echo Show 15. I also plan to do a video on why you shouldn't get the Echo Show 15 and make sure to subscribe so you can check out that video. And as soon as it's available, I'll make sure to put it down below in the description. Okay, let's dive into the Echo Show 15 and talk about the specs. First off, this is a 15.6 inch screen, which is one of the largest Echo Shows to date that does 1080p. This has two 1.6 inch full range drivers, which are the speakers that actually sound pretty good. I know other reviews had kind of said, eh, it's not the best, but be honest, it does have a stereo feel to it and you get what you expect. It doesn't have a lot of low end bass, but if you're putting this up to the wall or if you're putting this up to a stand, you know, it provides good background music. And if you're like someone like me who has Sonos that's connected with your Amazon device, then you can actually use it as an interface to be able to play around your room. And that's gonna be a better fit for you if you're looking for all around audio and better sound versus these two 1.6 inch speakers. This has a new AZ2 processor, which does add to the performance and capabilities with the Echo Show. This is one of the more responsive Echo Shows to date. You can mount this on the wall, and this is the first one that you can wall mount. It does come with a five foot cord, so if you need something bigger, there is an extension cord that you can purchase from Amazon. So just keep that in mind if you're planning to mount it. But if you're like me, I'm gonna use the stand, which did cost an additional $29 at the time that I purchased this. So that got me up to $280, but I feel that the stand is more versatile because you can put this in a lot of places Places, not worried about it being stuck in the wall and you can do portrait and landscape. You can do that on the wall as well, but it's super simple to put this in portrait and landscape on the stand versus wall mounting. This currently is only supporting Wi-Fi AC, which is your older Wi-Fi 5, doesn't support Wi-Fi 6 currently. So not a big deal when you're talking about a device like this, but just be aware it's not currently supporting Wi-Fi 6. So this is a downgrade from the other shows. You only have a five megapixel camera, which does allow for privacy. So you can use a shield to cover it when you don't want it to be recording. So with the specs out of the way, let's talk to why you should get the Echo Show 15. And the first thing is that this is something that I expected in the first generation of the Echo Show 10, in which I would have thought you should be able to have your digital photos just displayed when you want. This has not been here until the Echo Show 15. To me, this is more of a software thing than a hardware thing, but they may build some dependency on this Echo Show 15 based upon it being a photo frame design. But this is a really cool feature that you can enable by going to photo frame mode and allow it to go through either art or go through your Amazon collection of photos that are on the cloud. And this gives you a lot of opportunities to be able to share family and friends, everything that's going on, but it looks like a digital photo frame versus something that you might've looked at and said, why is this device in your kitchen counter? It looks odd. Another reason you should get it is the versatility. This is the first versatile Echo Show. Not only can you wall mount it, but you can also use a stand in both portrait and landscape. This offers a lot more versatility than any of the other Echo Shows before it. And this is big for me is hardware privacy. So you're able to physically shut off the camera and shut off the mics by using the shield. So personalization is a great way to actually improve the technology that you use. This is one of the first Echo Shows that can use visual ID or voice ID to be able to determine who's at the screen and make decisions on what is displayed. So I could have my counter reminders or my reminders that I need to see for the day and it comes up based upon my preferences. Same thing that may be presented to me from a sports score versus seeing a recipe as my wife would see. And what really turns this device into a family organization tool is widgets. There's a few that are available today. They have some options between weather and calendar and smart home. So you can choose from those add it to your screen as you would normally do, and it gives you a lot of landscape to use it with the screen size. Now, the one thing that I'll say is the smart home is still not improved from the previous versions. It's one of the downfalls that I've had with just the previous versions. It's just not very intuitive and not the most friendly interface to actually work and interact with your smart home devices. Now, other Echo Shows have been somewhat responsive, but it felt like they were a year or two behind from what would be expected with the interface and the interactions that you might have. This is the first one that feels like it actually fits something in 2022. And with the AZ2 processor, it's definitely added to the performance. 
Not only does this look like a picture frame, but you can actually hide this on your kitchen counter and use this as an entertainment center. So if you wanna watch Netflix, Amazon Prime videos, if you wanna use YouTube and use that with the Silk browser, you can. And you have a pretty large 1080p screen that you can enjoy the video content from. Overall, this is one of my favorite Echo Show devices and I plan to keep it. Now there are some downfalls and that's why I plan to make a video for you, which I'll link below around why you shouldn't get the Echo Show 15. So what are your thoughts? Is this the best Echo Show yet or are you gonna wait? Let's keep the comments going and let's keep the conversation below. Well, that wraps up this video and I hope you've liked it. If you have, make sure to hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more great content like this. Thanks for joining Amix Attack.